Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. Alright, it's Brock and we got a new episode of All About today. This is part two of the Double Feature Friday. And today we're going to learn about the Saddle Puffer, which is another really, really known puffer that everybody's wanting to know about. So let's get started. Prices on these guys, about 30 bucks. Tank size, you want about a 50 gallon for him. Care, he's moderate. Temper, he's really, really peaceful for a puffer. Reef, it's with caution. They tend to do okay with LPS kind of corals, but whenever you get them towards SPS, he will pick at them. So temperature, you want to keep it 72 to 78. Keep your DKH 8 to 12, pH 8.1 to 8.4, and your salinity 1.020 to 1.025. Max size these guys can get is about 5 inches. They normally get more fat than they do long. Colors is that nice white and yellow and tans on them. Diet, they are omnivore. You really want to make sure you're feeding them plenty of shrimp, clams, squid, stuff like that. And he has an endless growing little beak on him. So you want to make sure that he's getting down there and pecking real hard at something to keep that beak down. Because it can grow to make it close up his mouth compatibility you know just ask let me comment down below origin they are from hawaii now this guys may eat invertebrates so like your snails your shrimp your hermit crabs stuff like that he may pick at them if, if you don't keep him real real full so watch on on that make sure not to catch him with a the net they normally puff up when that happens you know try to catch him with a cup or anything to keep him from not coming out of the water to puff up like that because it could cause an air bubble and that's not good and just realize that if you're not feeding him this shrimp and stuff, that he's not getting iodine, iodine in his system. And if a puffer doesn't have enough iodine in their system, then they will get locked jaw. And it leads to you having to shove a little skewer down him and puffing the food straight to him. So let's keep that out. Hope you all have a good day. It's all about the saddle puffer. I'll see you all later.